And so with our video on Galactus being a resounding success, you guys really seem to enjoy the idea of Galactus. I thought it'd be fun to go back and talk about the Heralds of Galactus, but depending on what it is that you guys are interested in, what I like to do here is start with the weird Heralds of Galactus, <laughs> the strange Heralds of Galactus, the ones that we just don't really hear about or didn't really expect. And the first one that we're going to be doing is, of course, Deadpool, because why not? If Deadpool is a Herald of Galactus, by God, we got to do a video about that. <laughs> So as we start this video, what we do is we pick up with Deadpool, who is apparently completely broke. He has no money whatsoever. He's actually $300,000 in debt, 25 of which appears to be due to the purchase of guinea pigs. Now, I have no earthly clue why. Marvel doesn't explain that, and I'm kind of glad they don't. But what we do is we pick up with Deadpool as he's basically calling various supervillains. He calls Magneto the Red Skull. He calls Kingpin, among others, uh, Mephisto, Doctor Doom, and, and Doctor Octopus. And what he's basically doing here is trying to find someone who will allow him to be a freelance killer for them, basically operating as if he were a herald, although he'd be killing people, much in relation to what we'll find with Galactus. But what he sees is that among the individuals, which also include Apocalypse and uh, Iron Man, who of course tells Deadpool that he's a good guy and has no need of someone that would kill for him, that they all turn him down. They all refuse his uh, advances in terms of him undertaking the role of being a killer for hire for them. And so what he does is he gets on his tablet and he begins surfing the internet. And when he does, he comes across an ad that's been taken out by Galactus for someone who would uh, be interested in fulfilling the role of a herald. And so what the ad says is that if the person is interested, they should simply say the word herald aloud and the uh, interview will commence. And so what Deadpool does is exactly this. He simply uh, asks himself what it is that a herald is. And because he spoke the word uh, herald aloud, He's uh, he's drawn in by a part. I'm sorry, by a Galactus. He's brought before Galactus, and when he asks Deadpool whether or not he knows what it means to be a herald, Deadpool says no, and he simply just tells Deadpool that the entire basis of a herald is to prepare planets for the coming of Galactus, so that Galactus can consume them. And so when uh, when Deadpool says that he thinks it's awesome and that he wants to know when to start, uh, De I'm sorry, uh, Galactus makes his uh, I guess his implementation in this role immediate, and so he bestows on Deadpool the power cosmic. And so what he does is he sends Deadpool. Deadpool throughout the cosmos and tells Deadpool to uh, effectively begin uh, tracking down various planets. And so what we do is we pick up with Deadpool as he's come, to come across some unnamed planet somewhere. But what happens is that as he begins killing all the different uh, organisms on this planet using the power cosmic, he begins to piss off Galactus. And the reason why he begins to piss off, <laughs> piss off Galactus is because he won't shut up. Like he just keeps on talking and talking and talking. And he's not talking about anything important. He's just ranting on about nonsense. He's just going on about things that really don't matter. And uh, <laughs> and Galactus just seems to completely get annoyed to the point that he ends up, uh, I, would, I wouldn't really say that uh, he ends up killing Deadpool, but he does go as far as to say that if De <laughs> that if Deadpool doesn't shut up, that he's going to end him entirely. And so effectively, Dead <laughs> Deadpool has been fired as the Herald of Galactus, which is... <laughs> Pretty entertaining when you think about it. Um, <laughs> pretty fantastic, but nonetheless. So uh, Deadpool retreats back to uh, back to the planet Earth, but on the way, he comes across a Silver Surfer. And the Silver Surfer says that Deadpool's caused enough havoc for one day. He's basically killed off enough planets and enough people. And again, with Silver Surfer's role in relation to uh, previously being the Herald of Galactus, and the fact that he's rebelled, he's basically trying to preserve as many planets as he can from the wrath of Galactus. And so what happens here is Deadpool and the Silver Surfer engage in a fight with one another, and Deadpool is almost immediately overpowered by uh, the Silver Surfer. The Silver Surfer is able to hold his own quite readily against Deadpool, and so as a result, Deadpool admits defeat. He admits that he's been defeated by the Silver Surfer, but before he takes off, he says uh, he asks whether or not he can have the surfboard of, uh, of the Silver Surfer, and the Silver Surfer, by a look, simply just says no, and so Deadpool retreats back. And so what we do is we pick up with uh, Deadpool in some kind of a facility, and what's happening here is a it seems as though they're simply, I guess he's talking with a group of people or somebody is talking. And what they're saying is that they're simply trying to take it day by day. That they're simply trying to uh, trying to go day by day dealing with this, uh, I guess, this new role that they play. And what we learn is that this is actually a group that's meeting because they're all former Heralds of Galactus. And so what Deadpool says is that he was a Herald of Galactus and that he's been clean for 90 days. <laughs> with that being said, we're going to go ahead and bring this video to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. There you can keep up with all the updates from Comics Explained and talk to me directly.